President Kasim Jumar Tokayev called the first state visit of the President of South Korea, Yoon Suk Hyul, to Kazakhstan a historic event. Today, the heads of state held talks in narrow and expanded formats at the Akurda Presidential Palace. President Tokayev and his South Korean counterpart reiterated their commitment to elevating the bilateral relations to a new level as part of the expanded strategic partnership. To date, bilateral trade volume has reached $6 billion, with South Korea entering the top five largest investors in Kazakhstan. Былтырға дейін осы елден тартылған инвестиция көлемі in the period up to last year, the volume of investments from South Korea reached $9.6 billion. Both sides have expressed interest in increasing this figure. There are more than 700 companies with South Korean capital successfully operating in Kazakhstan, including major corporations such as Samsung, Hyundai, Kia, Lotte, Doosan and Posco. President Yoon so Yul and I have agreed to strengthen our comprehensive cooperation, primarily in such areas as infrastructure and manufacturing development, finance, energy, ecology, automotive and aerospace industries, IT and digitalization. The parties also discussed issues related to joint exploration and extraction of rare earth metals. President Tokayev confirmed readiness to create conditions for South Korean companies willing to enter Kazakhstan's market, especially since all mechanisms have been established for the implementation of plans. A working group has been formed to develop cooperation between the Intergovernmental Commission, the Business Council and the business community. Together, they will contribute to strengthening economic ties. During the negotiations with the Kazakh president, we extensively discussed the prospects of our cooperation, which has been dynamically developing since the establishment of diplomatic relations. We have agreed to enhance the effectiveness of the strategic partnership between Kazakhstan and South Korea. As part of today's visit, we have reached several agreements in the energy sector and the supply of critical minerals. The parties intend to expand cooperation in culture, science and education. In particular, a branch of South Korea's Wusun University may open in Turkestan. Following the negotiations between the countries, 11 cooperation documents were signed. The heads of state also agreed to develop a multilateral partnership within the framework of the Central Asia-South Korea format. President Tokayev supported the proposal of the South Korean president to hold the first such summit in Seoul in 2025.